weekly webinar on SAP S4 HANA. We appreciate your attendance and thank you for joining in. Thank you so much. Running a business isn't easy. Nothing worth doing ever is. There will be problems. You won't call them problems. We'll call them challenges. But they're problems. And to fix those problems, you'll implement a process which will also become a problem. But what if what we really need is a new process, but a new way to run business? Built on the idea that sophisticated technology doesn't have to be complicated technology. What if we made everything run? Simple. Running simple is finding answers in seconds, not days. Running simple is seeing what everyone else has missed. Running simple transforms your business into a true, real-time enterprise. SAP S4 HANA is next generation business suite. We should not use, as we know, SAP S4 HANA and S HANA, S SAP HANA together. SAP HANA is a database. SAP S4 HANA is a new generation business application from SAP which was released last year. This is the actual slide, which was used by Hesso, Hesso Platner, one of the founder of SAP, that what is behind SAP S4 HANA? Why do we need SAP S4 HANA? What does it do? And business perspective, this is an important statement from that perspective that why do we need and we care about OLAP and OLTP. So it's a common database approach for OLTP and OLAP. OLTP, online transaction processing, OLAP, online analytic processing, and putting into one common database. They are not in the ERP environment and BI environment. They are in together. Now, what is the purpose of making it together? So we can do real-time reporting, real-time analytics. A couple of reports, which is a couple of video, which you see in the beginning of my presentation, they basically talk about how we can combine our online transaction processing and online analytic processing together in one common database. This is what we have been doing so far. We have a transaction environment. We do ETL, we extract the data, we transfer the data, we load the data, and we put into BI. So we have a two environment. What we did with before, that with this environment, we can put HANA as a platform, so we can accelerate. But here, we are talking about one database for OLTP and OLAP processing together. But this is a bit of um, SAP HANA to SAP S4 HANA, how the things has evolved or innovate since last around five years and so. So we had the SAP HANA, which is in-memory processing platform. Then we had uh, SAP Business Warehouse was put into HANA. VW was put in HANA in 2012, around four years back. And then we have Business Suite itself was put onto HANA in 2013, three years back. And then we have in 2014, SAP came with SAP HANA Simple Finance. 
And then 2015, which is last year, SAP came with a new business application, SAP Expo HANA. SAP Expo HANA is SAP's newest business application. One of the core business driver behind putting SAP Expo HANA and coming with SAP Expo HANA is the what I had mentioned in the last slide from HASO, which is putting your transactions and analytics together in the real time on HANA platform. So your reporting analytics become simpler in real time. There is no transaction and or BI environment going forward. Everything come into the same common database making it real time. Talking about Innovation, we had, uh, as we all know, SAP on any database. Then SAP suite on HANA, which came few years back. And then SAP came with SAP Business Suite on HANA, that's called SAP S4 HANA. SAP S4 HANA is completely new business application which came last year. Let us understand this a little bit more. So we have a R2 which came in 1979, R1 came in 1972, R3 1992 which we know SAP bill. Then came ECC in 2004 with the NetWeaver platform around 12 years back. Then last year SAP came with a new business application that is called SAP S4 HANA. This is SAP S4 HANA. When well, I'm doing SAP since so many years now. And when it comes to SAP, I never use the one word called simplicity. That one word was never used. Nowadays, SAP intend to use this word simplicity. Let us talk why. We are all familiar with our RDBMS, whether whatever kind of RDBMS we are using, maybe Oracle. We have our financial posting, we have our customers, we have products, suppliers, vendors, profit center, cost center, sales order, purchase order, production order, and many more. 
all of them going to different database tables. If we talk about material master alone in SAP R3, the data goes to approximately more than 12 tables, one, more than one dozen tables, including MARA, MARC, MBVK, and other, as we all know. So data is not going to one database table. And then there are a lot of aggregation also. One of the things which we must understand going forward in SAP s that we are moving away, and especially the people who understand database and database technology better, that RDBMSs, all RDBMSs, whether it's Oracle and others, they provide specific aggregation. We talk about HANA and we say it is in-memory processing database. In fact, it is not just in-memory processing database. We should not make this mistake and say it's in-memory processing database because it does everything in memory. There are many things. It is stores and columns. Along with the things here is talk about is on-the-fly aggregation. They're not static aggregations and indexes when you use HANA. So what we do, we do real-time aggregations. Another thing which you will be hearing very often, with SAP s hana going forward, is digital transformation. SAP proposes SAP S4 HANA business application at the center of that digital transformation of your enterprise. One of the architecture elements of SAP S4 HANA is to enable that digital transformation which you want to do in your corporation. The architecture of SAP s is there to support that digital transformation of your company in various aspects. We need to understand some simple facts about SAP S4 HANA. So if SAP S4 HANA A is a business application, but its database is SAP HANA, it is not on any other RDBMS, Oracle and others. This is another point which we need to understand. When we talk about SAP S4 HANA, we have a SAP ERP, we have a CRM, SRM, SEM, PLM, in one system, one system. That is one of the very major change when we talk about SAP HANA. Earlier in SAP R3 or ECC environment, we have an ECC, then if somebody using CRM, there's a separate box for CRM, there's a separate box for SRM, there's a separate box for APO, there's a separate box for PLM, there's a separate box for other applications as they are there. If you're using APO, normally people would be using a separate box. But in SAP S4 HANA, we are not having separate box for all these applications. This is another very important factor. The data footprint is 10 times lesser. So if you're talking about, and we'll talk more about the data footprint in our presentation, if you're using a 10 terabyte data, then using SAP s hana it goes less than one terabyte. So data footprint is drastically removed. And of course, you have a higher throughput, faster analytics and reporting, 
faster analytic reporting becomes almost 2,000 times because not only ERP, CRM, SRM, SCM, PLM has one system, so it makes it real time because they are not different boxes. So they are not the you know batch processing between uh, ERP to CRM and ERP to APO, APO to this, and in APO you're looking demand planning, demand planning looking for CI or core interface, and core interface is just providing the data for APO and all that. It's not going there anymore because everything is one uh, one one box. Now another thing which you need to understand the process is steps. So many of the process steps are reduced. No locking, parallelism, actual data, limiting 25%, historical data reduced. So workload capacity goes up because of that. And then you can do real-time prediction and recommendations. Digital transformation. SAP HANA is also there in cloud. There's a cloud extension for because if somebody wants to use that cloud, multi tenancy Now, this is another thing. All data can be processed. It's not just numeric and others. It could be social data, text, geo, graphical. And that is an example of having SAP S4 HANA. Now, we also have SAP Fury UX for any device. So basically means you can use this user interface on any device. Any device. You have three deployment options, on promise, public cloud, Managed cloud. Now, we must understand that in SAP S4 HANA, some of the business processes model changes. It is not ECC on HANA platform alone. There are a lot of other process change. Now look at here. <clears throat> so SAP S4 HANA unique value for IT and users for both. Now here we have a different data models we talked about. That in SAP S4 HANA we are going from traditional database RDBMS to in memory platform. So HANA is a platform which basically means we have 10 times less data input, no indexes, no aggregates, no redundancies, which is other part of our data. So we get rid of it. So the data model get completely changed. In case of user interface, SAP S4 HANA is presented on SAP Fury and interactive graphics. Now because the all different applications are there in the same employee, you have ERP, your CRM, your SRM, your, AP, your APO, your SNC, your EWM are in the same platform. So you can do interactive graphics and also because it is in Fury, so you go across devices, your rule base. And for IT, this is Configuration process, a lot of areas changes. Of course, we all have been doing with the SPRO. That gets simplified. So, we have been talking about, let's say we are doing incoming payment. And we have to post that incoming payment with the simple finance and others. Invoice clearing with SAP GUI, Business Suite, and our RDBMS. You enter data nine times. You go to 26 screens. Duration is 2.25 minutes. And there are 49 clicks. When we're talking about clearing invoice with Fury in SAP S4 HANA platform, then your data entry, enter data is three times. 
one screen, 1.07 minutes and 22 clicks. So your business process, the way you do in the front end and what actually happens in back end, both changes. Which lead into, so this is here, we have SAP GUI and this is on SAP Fury. So 53% reduction in duration, 55% reduction in clicks, 96% reduction in screen changes, 66% reduction in the field, which you need to populate. This is an actual example of clearing incoming payment with ECC on GUI and using Fury on SAP S4 HANA. Many of you must be aware of this term, simple finance. Simple finance is a new application which is presented with SAP S4 HANA. A simple finance was available before S4 HANA as well. As we talked before, so simple finance was there in the ECC 6.0 as well. Now let us understand this. So we are very familiar with these tables, BKPF, BSCG, BSCG table which, you know, almost entire your invoice information goes, had a table. It's a mother table, like Mara is for Metal Master, like BV, AK is for sales orders or EKPO is for purchase orders. So we are all familiar with BSAG. Now when we currently do an invoice posting, we have a 10 inserts and 5 updates. So in RDBMS, with the current application EC 6.0 and others, we are doing 10 inserts and 5 updates. and see what happens. With the simple finance, we only do four inserts and zero update. So when we talk about efficiency, when we talk about making it real time, when we talk about making it faster, when we talk about making it in simple, in SAP S4 HANA, what is behind that simplicity? What is behind that real time? What is behind making it working faster? We are all technology people, we can understand that. So it is not just in memory processing alone, of course that is there, but it also the how we insert and update our database. And how the data footprint is. Many other tables and updates are gone. There's no indexes, no aggregates, no redundancies. We must understand that. There is no indexes need to be created. As we know, when we're creating an RDBMS, the numerous aesthetic indexes and aggregates are created in the database. We don't need to do them. Taking finance, to the next level. So we talk about finance with the suite on HANA and finance with the S4 HANA. Because as I mentioned to you, simple finance and theory is not there and necessarily as a part of SAP S4 HANA, but it was there before as well. So in that, in simple finance, we have a 70% reconciliation time and different parameters, which we are seeing in across. These are some of the early adopters of SAP S4 HANA, as we all know, in Zurich and DSP, Deloitte and others. Now we also let's get familiarized with SAP S4 HANA. SAP S4 HANA. 
let us talk about that. So these are some of the tables, some of the inventory tables and material master table. We know Mark, we know Mark, MSTK, MSCV, MSVR and others. These are some of the tables. And then SAP logistics, tables in inventory management and materials I'm talking about with indexes and with the aggregates. Now this is the data model with SAP S4 HANA. So the table usage, the number of table needs goes drastic. That is one thing we needed. So data footprint become one tenth. So 90% of your data footprint goes away. We don't need those databases. 90%, more than 90% data footprint goes away with SAP S4 HANA. Of course, no indexes, no aggregates, no redundancies. Preview of um, simple logistics. So your forecast accuracy increased by 40%. Real-time visibility across the supply chain, faster planning runs, 24 aggregates and totals, and then throughput in inventory management increased by at least factor two. This is SAP Simple Logistics. Let us talk about some of the example which we use in our day-to-day -day life. Many of you will be aware of back order processing. So we have a back order scheduling program, V underscore V2, right? Where we have all these different orders which is running in the background job. We don't need to do that. Now that back order processing which used to take a lot of resources because then you're taking all your tables and then you're doing ATP with the various parameters. And most of the people, and I'm very supposed that all of you as well, must be running that report in background in night or whatever. You don't need to do that anymore. For example, in SAP West for HANA, if I could take one example. We have a MRP run. So we are running MB04, MB02, MB01, MB03, and some of those transactions, we're running them in background and, and, and MRP runs goes. This is MRP run is screen with a severe, I don't know how much visible that is. So it become much more real time because now in the background, we have a different database model. So your MRP run, for example, become drastically different than what it was before. All aggregates and history table, 24 in table drop. No locking, no redundancies in high speed. So improved customer service, exception handling, and of course, simplified data model. We must understand simplified data model going forward in our architecture. And because of these, we can foresee an uh, increase user productivity because now we take, you, you can run your MRP as many times as you want. In the real time, you have a much more graphic intuitive inside rather than running background. Your back order processing can happen in the real time rather than happening every eight hours, every 12 hours. So you can have a, a better user productivity. And of course, because your another thing which you have to understand is it's not only ECC. Now you're putting your ECC, your CRM, your SCM, which basically means your KPO, your SNC, your EWM, your event management, your forecasting, and VMI into one box. You put your SRM into one box. You have a PLM that you put into the same box. So now you are having all these different functions in the same box. Earlier, people were using ECC in one box. You're using CRM, another box. APO in another box. If I'm using the some other application that is a fourth box. And BI, of course, was its own environment as well. So it was completely decentralized architecture. With SAP S4 HANA, this whole decentralized architecture become centralized on one database HANA, 
and having a real time data model and reduced data model. Your data footprint is reducing by 90% approximately. That is one of the important key takeaway for us. Reimagine data model, total cost of ownership. So, business suite on traditional RDBMS. So, is my EC6 minus more using traditional RDBMS? Then we have a SAP suite on HANA. It compresses my database. The data footprint reduces. Then we go and SAP S4 HANA, and that further reduces data by fourth time. So that basically means using SAP S4 HANA, my data footprint reduction becomes 10 times less. So in SAP S4 HANA, you need higher processing. So these HANA boxes, these hardware are very high processing environment the processor is very high capability but data footprint is much smaller so simple application enterprise database for big data and agility so let us understand this picture if i'm using erp on any database you for example if you have a 7.1 terabyte data, using ERP and HANA, it goes down to 1.8 terabyte. And ERP on HANA is become 0.8 terabytes. In that there is no indexes, no aggregates, no redundancies. So you go back on SAP S4 HANA from 7.1 terabyte to 0.8 terabytes. This is your throughput and your throughput on SAP HANA get drastically changed, enhanced. And of course, this is another thing which we need to understand, high, full flexibility, because now in the one architecture on one platform, we have all these different applications together. So, Lower implementation configuration cost, I don't know that part, but yes, hardware, storage cost, cost of support, training. This is important thing. This point is important. Now there is no separate OLAP and transaction processing environment. It become one. Summary. A new business suite for new business outcome. From technology perspective, you're running on HANA. So with simplified data model, we talked about how the data footprint get reduced. We talk about a lot of these indexes and aggregates are not there. It's not just in memory processing, it's other more than that. Your choice of deployment in premises and also in cloud and it's open platform, much lower TCM. Business processes, that also we need to understand that when we're talking about business processes, so SAP S4 HANA is not just ECC. Many of the business processes are different. So it is not just simplified data model, it's not just on HANA, it's not just a reduction of data footprint. It's also, i given some example. I took an example of, um, you know, incoming payment processing. So if I'm doing incoming processing in S4 HANA versus what you're doing before, how much is the change in the clicks and screens and other actions which we business users do? In logistic, for example, if the, how you do ATP, how do you run your MRP? How do you do your back order processing? That changes. Then we have decision making. Now, because you're trying OLTP and OLAP in same box, now because your ERP, CRM, SNC, APO, EWM, and event management, or other applications, SRM, 
in same box and bi in same box therefore your reporting analytics become real time this is a screen which we talked in the beginning this is the this is the you know innovation which have been doing since last 5 years sap hana came 2011 then sap hana came on bw in 2012 then business suite powered by s4 hana which means they put hana on my ecc 2013 then you were simple finance powered by hana in 2014 and then we were sap s4 hana which came in 2015 last year SAP S4 HANA is a new business suite. SAP HANA is a database. So when we talk about SAP HANA, Excel is a business suite, having a Fury, having a data platform, and having your application extensions, which is new dimensions. where should we start so we can do sap hana discovery workshop one day innovation focus workshop solution focus solution session determine what do you need to successfully deploy putting s4 s4 hana roadmap services that how what can be done what could be roadmap what could be next step and that can be done with the one day discovery workshop adoption roadmap services for sap s4 hana what does the process looks like when we are doing discovery workshop so there is a customer discovery understanding the process improvement understanding the system landscape understanding the process which will change understanding a specific pain points and for your industry and then coming back with a road map coming back the architecture planning coming with a value that what could be the value for you and what could be migration scenario deployment options and that gives you all on a road map this is a workshop for you for a day SAP adoption roadmap services for SAP Hana. Who must participate in this workshop? If you do, that workshop would be with IT people, with the business, SAP consultants, and the sponsors. One day, eight hours. SAP Hana on premises transition options for ERP customers. So this is your ERP or any database. ERP on Hana and SAP S4 Hana. That is one transition option, or you can directly go to SAP S4 Hana, upgrade and migrate, upgrade and migration one step, install the financial add-on, migration service package to get you faster. in that we have certain foundation scenarios there are certain extended scenarios thank you very much i want to thank you for um, coming in today and uh, listening to this and uh, i appreciate your time and um, i will be looking forward um, i will give my uh, email address i think if some of you might have so this is my email address dilipatkaviconsulting.com uh, that's my phone number 9738857245 this is us number though i'm based in the us and i'm talking to you from there so so you know that when you're dialing number if in case you dial and that's my email address dilipatkaviconsulting.com and uh, I will look forward your email. I will look forward talking with you. Um, this is briefly my bio. Uh, I'm in SAP field since '98. 
Uh, I worked with the Capgemini. I was a senior director with them. I was senior director with Accenture. I was associate partner with IBM. Um, I teach many places. Uh, these are several clients where I did SAP implementation myself. So I'm an out and out SAP consultant. Uh, these are hundreds of you know some of the companies where I did SAP. I come from SDMM background. Uh, I was for a long time uh, SDMM uh, logistic consultant. If you see these are some of the modules some of the industries uh, which I've been doing. So that's briefly my bio. Um, and uh, this is my email address. Uh, if you can uh, want to make a note, you can you can make a note of that. I'm looking forward and uh, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Bye.